some pretty insane roles. I mean, I, I loved you in The Wrestler, but it's got to be, does that ever take an effect on you? Because this is a film where you're, you're pretty sadistic. When you walk away from these movies, are you, is I'll it hard for you to get out um, of it? The Wrestler was a nightmare to walk away from because of the, the uh, we'll give him an extra two minutes because he's, act, he's asking some more questions. Um, the Wrestler was really hard because of the emotional drain that it took on me physically and, and mentally, the dark places I had to go. I remember the, when the movie finished, uh, I couldn't, Darren and everybody, they were calling me going, we're having the rap party, we're having the rap party. And I was on the couch shaking in tears and I couldn't get up and I had a massive anxiety attack. I had to call my shrink, my priest, my agent, not necessarily in that order, because <laughs> I had a, a little bit of a breakdown at the end of it and I couldn't, the Xanax wasn't working right. and the whiskey. And uh, it was just an emotional collapse from the um, emotional stuff and the physicality. So uh, I promised myself, I said, that's it. I know it's taken, took tons out of me, out of my soul, my spirit, physically. I said, I'm never gonna do another physical movie again. And now I ended up buying the rights to this rugby player story about the rugby player who came out and announced that he's gay while he's still playing for Wales. Mm. And that's gonna be probably worse than the... That's gonna be brutal. That's gonna be real brutal. So we've been training, we're gonna, We've been training six months, we're gonna train another six months and then shoot the movie. So, uh, and now I've said, now that's it, I'm never gonna do another physical movie again. So this movie, yeah. the, after, the, after the rugby, this movie was a little physical, but not really that, it, just in spots, the immortals. But I mean, it's a total f fantasy movie where the people can watch this, the Tarsem is so great with the camera, they can just, in the 3D, and then you know, they can just, go on this sort of magical journey for a couple of hours watching the immortals, you know, I hope. The Heraclean King, Hyperion, has declared war on all of humanity. If any of you influence the affairs of mankind, the punishment will be severe. If I ever find myself, just hypothetically, um, and needing to lead a bunch of men into battle, just happens all the time. Yeah. Well, it's, it's just something that happened. And I need to look cool doing it, and I need to give an epic speech. By the way, your speech was awesome. Generally, That's speeches right. like that don't work in movies. That was a good freaking <laughs> speech, great, man. man. <laughs> if, I, if I find myself needing to do that, how do I look cool? What, 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 give me some like, tips on how to do that appropriately and look cool doing it. I, I don't know. Um, um, get yourself a muscle suit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need 8-pack abs. Yeah, 8-pack abs. <laughs> Get a um, megaphone. <laughs> be passionate about it. Yeah. Get yeah. lost in it. If people are going to follow you into battle, they've right. got to believe that you're That's committed. Right. Dude, I'm like, af I'm afraid to like take a girl to see this movie because I mean, I I'm like the skinniest fat guy on the planet. I mean, I it's like I have a keg. I don't even have a six pack, eight pack, nothing <laughs> like keg. that. So, so t I, I heard that Tar Sam actually said, "No six pack, Henry. You gotta go eight pack." Yeah, you gotta go to the full eight pack. How, 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 how the hell do you get that? How do you do that? Um, it's, well, there's only a set. You, you can train, you can train, you can train until you're blue in the face. But you've got to diet. You've got to you've got to have that leanness mm -hmm. um, because if you're not lean, your abs won't show. And you, of course the training has to be put in, but then you've got to shed all of the fat and keep the fat off. And uh, that's how you get the egg pack. So no Taco Bell. No Taco Bell. Gosh, can't do it. <laughs> Taco Bell. If there is one human who could lead them against Hyperion, it would be Theseus. The gods may be on your side, but your dream has just begun. One thing about this movie, I, I love the slow motion aspect of it. And I love how tar, what Tar Sam does with the slow motion. And I want to ask you hypothetically, yeah. if you could put one action yeah. in your daily life yeah. in slow motion, yeah. what would it be? Probably that blonde on my lap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, <laughs> say that again. If you could put one aspect of your daily life in slow motion, what would it be? My, probably my training that I do every day with my trainer. Really? Yeah, he's brutal. You want to see that in slow motion? I'd like to go through my whole tr training routine with him in slow motion. He's, he, he's, he kills me every day. Yeah? You know? I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep at 8 o'clock.
I put one in slow motion. Waking up. Wake up. Would not want to wake up that quick. <laughs> Just want to continue sleeping for a bit and then wake up in bits and pieces. Then. Like slow motion. It's like, slow, like wake up. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it takes like an hour to wake up. Exactly. I'm right. just letting her keep going because I'm trying to think of a good one. But, uh, you guys keep going. No, no. Uh, I don't know. Slow motion. That's a cool question. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Help me. I have not I have something in my head, but I'm not telling you. Tell me. <laughs> Oh, I'll use it. I'll use, I need some. I'm out of material. Relativity. No. Um, immortals. It's very no. naughty. It is? It's naughty? Oh. It's naughty. Okay. I mean, I would like, yeah, why not a, you know, a make out with like my favorite girlfriend ever, even though I don't have See, one. See, I was thinking of that. Yes. Like in the, slow mo. The or, rain. Or even like, you know, you know, Frida dropping down. <laughs> what? Like, you know. That in, is not my coming idea. Coming from the sky <laughs> with Dev. Her boyfriend. <laughs> and then Dev's there, and I'm like, hey, Dev, I haven't seen you in a while. And we go to Mr. Chow's, and we have dinner. I like, and like this. It's slow motion, Frida, Dev, and me. We get Tarzan to direct it? It's, it's a good it's question, good. and I kind of no. bomb. No, I like the answer. answer. I tried. It was great. Today, we are offered something we would never have. Today, we fight for honor. It's how your characters deal with what they're doing when they're under pressure. I mean, you, it kind of defines who your characters are. I mean, that pressure you're dealing with with the gods and making sure they don't interfere with the humans and obviously your storyline. Can you equate that to your real lives where in, as actors? Is there a specific moment where you embraced the pressure that you were under and that kind of helped you succeed through any issue you were dealing with? Do you embrace that pressure? I think it's sink or swim, right? You, yeah. you, 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 you either suck it up and deal with pressure or you, or it, or it crushes it, 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 it crushes and, and, you, and then you lose. Yeah, you, you just—it's a hard business. This, you know, there, there's no, uh, there's no beating around the bush. You know, you've got to, you've got to have thick skin, and you've got to be able to commit and work and have a lot of passion and keep your focus. But um, yeah, you've got yeah. to, you've got to man up because you face yeah. a lot of disappointment and you face a lot of beat downs. And even when you, you when you think you've, you, you're doing the best you can do, it's still not working. Hmm. And as I say, you just got to man up and deal with it, and, and keep on going. And like Theseus did, and like Zeus did in the movie, it's yeah. it's they they face their problems front on, right. and say, okay, yeah, I'm dealing with a problem.